Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how to add and subtract rational expressions. So just like when you do it with fractions, you need to have the same denominator. So if they do, you're good. If not, you're going to have to come up with one. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll start with some easy problems. So here the denominators are going to be equal. So what we do, just like we do with fractions, we're going to add them together. Divided by 2, and then we simplify that, so we have x and x that can be combined. That's going to give us 2x minus 3 divided by 2, and that's going to be the answer. Moving to the next problem, same idea. We just need to be careful with the problems involving minus, just like when you have problems with just adding, subtracting polynomials. When you have a minus, you need to put it in parentheses and then properly distribute the negative 1. So it's going to be like that over 5 and then we simplify that so we're going to end up with x minus 5 divided by 5 this one so I get y minus 5 plus 2y minus 1 divided by 3 that's going to give us 3y minus 6 divided by 3 and in this case we can actually simplify that thing because both terms both terms can be divided by what we have in the denominator so we can rewrite that 3y minus 3 minus 6 divided by 3 that's going to give us y minus 2 okay moving on so these problems now it's not just a number but the idea is the same so it's going to be x plus x minus 3 divided by x minus 1 it's going to give us 2x minus 3 over x minus 1. Same thing here but again with the minus we need to put it in parentheses and properly distribute. So what are we going to get here? We're going to get x minus 2 minus x plus 3 divided by x minus, I'm sorry, plus 2. Uh, x is cancel and you're going to get 1 in the numerator. That's all that's going to be left and the denominator is going to be x plus 2. And here, we can go ahead and combine that. You see that I don't really need to rewrite that together. I can just write that 2y plus 6 over y squared minus 9. But can we simplify it? Well, for that, we're going to try to factor and see what's going to happen. So this is a y minus 3 times y plus 3. And look at that. We have y plus 3 that are going to cancel we're going to be left with 2 over y minus 3. All right. Of course, you're going to have to take a look now at problems where the denominators are not the same. So, here's one problem. And uh, what we have here, we need to find what our greatest common factor is, the uh, greatest common denominator is going to be. And I think you can see easily that it's going to be, uh, I'm sorry, 8 here. So, we're going to multiply these by 4. And that's going to give you 12x over 8 plus x minus 2 divided by 8. So now we combine it together. We can just add the numerators together. That's going to be 13x minus 2 divided by 8. Uh, for this next problem, we are going to also need to find the common denominator, just like before. So the greatest common denominator here is going to be 30. Both 6 and 15 are factors of 30, and this is the smallest number like that. So here we're going to multiply by 2, and here we are going to multiply by 5. But we're going to have to do it very carefully. Uh, first of all, we're going to have to distribute numbers, then you have a minus. So 5 times 3x minus 4 minus 2 times 4x plus 5 all over 30 uh, let's go ahead and distribute so what are we getting here that's 15x that's minus 20 minus 8x minus 10 all over 30 and 15x minus 8x is 7x uh, negative 20 minus 10 is minus 30 divided by 30 and we're going to leave it like that. 
common questions or problems like that can we just divide the 30s the answer is no you cannot because if you're going to divide by this number you got to divide every single term in the numerator so if you want to do it then you have to divide 7 by that number as well all right uh, what about when the denominators are not as simple as this so what do we have here first of all let's rewrite that we're going to have 2y over y plus 2 and here uh, in the the denominator I can factor I can factor out 3 and I have y plus 2 as well so we already have y plus 2 that's common in both fractions so what is the only thing that I'm missing I'm missing the 3 here to make them equal so my greatest common denominator here is going to be 3 times y plus 2 so here I'm going to multiply by 3 and then I'm going to get 6y over 3 times y plus 2 plus 2y plus 6 divided by 3 times y plus 2. And now we can go ahead and combine them. We're adding, so it's going to be 8y plus 6 divided by 3 times y plus 2. Um, can you distribute the 3? The answer is yes. It sometimes depends on what the... Uh, problem that you're working on is going to ask you to do and how they want you to leave your final answers so it's acceptable but you know in this case we can leave it like that also All right. let's take a look at this problem so the greatest common denominator here uh, what can we see if we factor out uh, 2 then that's what we're going to have so they already have x minus 1 right so the only thing that I'm missing here is 2 so my greatest common denominator will be 2 times x minus 1. And then I'm going to have exactly the same thing. So we're going to multiply these by 2. So it's going to be 2x over 2 times x minus 1 minus 2x plus 3 divided by 2x minus 2 times parentheses x minus 1. So I'm sorry. Okay, so we have a minus, let's be careful, 2x minus 2x plus 3, you're going to put this in parentheses, 2 times x minus 1 equals 2x minus 2x minus 3 divided by 2 times x minus 1. So 2x minus 2x cancels out, so we're going to get negative 3 in the numerator, 2 times x minus 1 in the denominator, right? And that is going to be our answer in this case. Uh, there are some variations of how you can write that. You can write the answer here in uh, some forms that are going to be slightly different from that. And I want to show you that. So what else can be done here? We can factor out the 3, which typically is what we want, and write it like that. That's also acceptable, but uh, these two expressions that we have here they are equivalent okay all right moving on to the next problem so now there is some factoring involved a little bit more factoring than we did earlier so in this problem number 11 we're going to have to factor this here as x minus 2 times x plus 2 right so both fractions have x minus 2 in denominator, but this first one also has x plus 2. So the greatest common denominator here is going to be x minus 2 times x plus 2. This way I will be able to get the same thing in the denominator by multiplication. So what do I need here? I need x plus 2. So then what are we getting? We have x minus 3 times x minus 2x plus 2 plus 2 times x plus 2 over x minus 2 times x plus 2 right so what are we gonna get we're gonna get x minus 3 plus 2x plus 4 divided by x minus 2 times x plus Two. and now we combine our like terms so we're going to have 3x plus 1 divided by x minus 2 times x plus 2 
or I just want to write that you can also write these answer as 3x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4 it's actually the same answer just slightly different form example 12 in example 12 we have this situation so the first thing that you always want to do with any of these problems is attempt to factor especially the denominators and see uh, if you can find any common things so we factor out 2 in the denominator of the first fraction we're going to get 2 times parentheses x plus 3 here we can factor it as x minus 3 times x plus 3 that's the difference of squares so what do they have in common they have x plus 3 what else do we have we have 2 here and we have x minus 3 here so when you try to put together the greatest common denominator here is going to be 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 3 we're going to have to use every unique factor that we have so that means this fraction here has to be multiplied by x minus 3 and this fraction here has to be multiplied by 2 So when we rewrite that, we're going to get x times x minus 3 minus 2 times 2x minus 6 all over. And now we can have our common denominator 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 3. Distribute and FOIL. Well, actually, there's no FOILing, but distribute, yes, x squared minus 3x minus 2x squared no nope, I'm sorry that's minus 4x I'm sorry that, yeah negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x and then plus 12 or 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 3 uh, combined like terms so what do we get here we have x squared minus 7x plus 12 so we have a quadratic trinomial in the numerator which we could potentially factor and it is factorable actually it's going to give you x minus 3 times x plus 4 and the denominator is 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 4 times sorry, x plus 3 so the denominator and the numerator both have x minus 3 and we are going to be able to divide them out and then we're going to be left with our that was actually x that's my mistake this is x minus 4 let me fix this it's okay we all make mistakes i looked at the wrong number okay there we go so okay again x minus 3x minus 4 in the numerator this here x minus 3 I'm gonna end up dividing out give you 1 so x minus 4 in the numerator is what's going to be left and the denominator is 2 times x plus 3 okay all right I have a couple more examples so this next problem here we're going to have to just like we did before we're going to have to find a factor of form if possible so here we're going to have x minus 1 x plus 1 here we have x plus 1 times x plus 2 so for the greatest common denominator here we're going to have they have x plus 1 they have x minus 1 and I have x plus 2. We're going to use all unique factors. So what do we need to multiply the first fraction by top and the bottom? We're going to need to multiply it by x plus 2 because we don't have it here. And here we're going to have to multiply it by x minus 1. So rewrite that. So it's 1 times x plus 2 plus 2 times x minus 1 all over x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 2 so now we can distribute x plus 2 plus 2x 
minus 2 divided by x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 2. Uh, x plus 2x will give you 3x. The 2's cancel, so it's going to be 3x in the numerator divided by x minus 1, x plus 1 times x plus 2. That completes this problem. All right, and our last problem here, we're going to have to do this. Again, we have to do some factoring here. We have x minus 1 times x plus 2 for this one. This one's going to be x plus 2 times x plus 3. So we have x plus 2 that's common. We also have that, and we also have that. The greatest common denominator will be x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. So what are we missing here? We are missing x plus 3. So multiply this one by x plus 3. What are we missing here? We have we need x minus 1. So when we rewrite that, we're going to have 2x times x plus 3 minus x times x minus 1. All over x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. So distribute. 2x squared plus 6x minus x squared plus x over x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. And simplify that. We are going to get x 2x squared minus x squared is x squared plus 7x all over x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 and that concludes this problem and that also concludes our lesson okay hope this was helpful